Hey folks, this is the No Ego Show uh, tied into, once again, an article in Classic Andro magazine, which should be out by the time this video is released. This is the preparation video for Ariat going to Billing off road show next weekend, so it's the weekend before Billing, which is the end of June. I can't remember the exact date. This is the list. Try and get it so that there's not a shadow on it. Those who know the channel, know that the trucks, my trucks all have the um, Sharpie writing on them. And that from last year, ow, the exhaust there, still has that one. But I plan to get a proper one on Harriet. So, things I'm doing first. The Rad Fan. It's always, since the TDI conversion, it's sat quite far off of the radiator, which is alright, but it, it works, but she seems to run a bit warmer than I'm happy with. Back in there. Um, so I've got a pass it one that's going to go in there. Where it should go. The shock brushes, I will pause the video and show a clip underneath of why one of them, at least one, needs changing. But the snorkel, at the moment, since replacing the wing recently, for one that isn't screwed, <coughs> I've got to drill a hole in it. And the snorkel has not been connected since the TDI, so it's going to come out there under there, snake its way up through here, connect it to that. I might replace the pipe with stainless. I've got to make my own top. I want it to be a little bit lower so it doesn't interfere with the light bar, which needs its wiring tidying up, it needs final fitting on the top there, and needs the switch properly fitting, because that's crap. See? So I'm going to put a toggle switch in the cab, and I'm going to wire that up as well, and then run the wiring through. Um, rear tyres probably won't get done today because the truck needs to be on the road tomorrow. They're worn down and low. Thanks to Steve at 5 speed, I've got a pair that came off of his Zoo alloys that are now on Rosie. Check them out in the billing list, because there will be a list of billing videos coming up. Before, should be released before this video is released, so have a look back on the the channel, you'll find them. But yeah, what else was on the list? I can't remember now. <laughs> um, what else? My bar, yeah, sort of tyres. CB radio needs fitting in there, I've got to empty all that stuff out of it. It's in the back, or I might take the one off of Ariat. Oh, uh, not Ariat, this is Ariat. Off of Tack, because I know that one works well. So I might do that one. Uh, electric van gone through shops of, um, Raised breathers, it's just bolting them back in. And GoPro mounts, yes. Because I need to mount GoPro in the cab and I want to put a GoPro mount on the back, which will probably go through that bolt hole there. So yeah. I'll, I'm going to try and keep this a bit shorter video. I'm going to chop it so you see before, after. At no point you see, you don't want to just see me working on a truck. Especially as I can't guarantee I won't swear. So yeah. Keep tuned. As mentioned in the previous clip, this is why the shock bushes need changing. Hopefully, changing all, all of them all at once, front and rear. Hopefully doing that will stop the steering chattering, because all the spring bushes on the front are changed. Might need to get the tracking sorted. Yes, I know my swivel weeps slightly. It's a pain in the ass, because it, it was new a couple of years back. But the hell. And this land rose, that's why we love them. Yeah. So there's that to be done. Oh. Yeah, I'm not saying the bushes were bad, but that's new and old on just the driver's side. Oh, well, worth doing. The top ones weren't too bad actually, they could probably have gone again, but there's no point. Halfway through, might as well. There we go, one down, all to go. 
uh, two weeks ago, even. I won't bother showing any more photos of them or anything because they're all pretty much the same. Um, top ones are the same. They'd have gone again, but no point. So, yeah. Next. Well. <laughs> that's... One job done. Absorbers. Fan swap isn't happening because the fan I've got is too big to fit where I want it to go. So, oh well. Snorkels tomorrow. Raised breathers. Bow housing's done. I haven't got the time in case one yet. So, yeah. Unfortunately, I've never cleaned up and go out for a family meal. This will carry on tomorrow. Or the next day, or whenever. Rear, t rear tyre is going to be done after work one night next week, I think. So, yep. Okay, so day two on this, on the list of billing prep. And today's predominant thing to do is the snorkel. So I'm just looking at it, as you can see, I'm mocking up with some of the blue pipe I've got. Um, that needs to go up there. The last, previous incarnation I had coming down there using the um couldn't bring, not fully awake yet. Using the carbal bar for 2.5 petrol, which I kinda like and I've still got lurking around. I may dig that out and use that because it gives a nice tight bend under there. So I drill a hole there, pipe comes out. That one connects onto it, that's its net. the original snorkel pipe connected up. And then out round, I've then got the car bevel come into here. And it'll be 90 degree onto that, right into that 90 degree, which I think will then match up to that one, which will then match up to all of that. So, convoluted, sneaky, snaky, yeah. The other idea, of course, is um, cut that section out there. Oops, sorry. And cut that down there because that's just a bit of strengthening panel and come out through the wing top about here. But then I've got pipe running down there, which I'm not. It looked kind of cool and kind of diesel punky, which would be my aesthetic, but I don't know. Might do that one. I'll have a chance to my dad in a minute, see what he reckons. So, yeah, more to come. So, after much consideration and asking my dad's advice and thoughts on it, decided to go through the Drilling the hole in the wing here, having the pipe come up in there. I have in my collection another length of snorkel, which has the right kinks and bends to get round the roof and kick the roof. The thing up at the top that probably end up being chopped down a bit. But yeah, that right there. Chop on it. I'll chop the pipe through out there. That gives me that length, which should be enough with one of these on the bottom of it to go out to here and it's 90 degree there 90 degree there 90 degree there all well and good hopefully maybe <laughs> we'll see either way I've drilled a hole in my wing well can't be helped okay so I don't know if the GoPro will pick it up yeah it does X marks the spot that's where I'm drilling the hole it, no it looks like it overlaps on that but the heater hose curls round like that so should be completely clear. Yeah. Should come round about that sort of line. And then I've got, got a bit to chop. I don't know whether to drill just drill that through from the other side with the hole saw. Or not just yet. We shall see. But yeah, either way, the wing's getting a hole in there. <coughs> Found that was a car elbow came off of tack. That Land Rover. And that's just going to make a nice temporary top. It'll be twisted around so it's pointing towards the light bar. We sat about there because I want it down lower than the light bar. But yeah, that's there. Bracket off of that. I may have to figure out some way of making the bracket to fit, but we'll figure that out later. But yeah. Here it goes. Here it goes. <laughs> Interesting.
Okay. Need to take it up by the truck. I've made an old. Okay, so a bit of an update. Got one line degree going into there, one line degree there, one line degree there. Snuckle top. That has got a bit of pipe into it so that when I get a Jubilee clip it can clamp on. Then just need to make a little bit of pipe to go in there. And then it's going to get some Jubilee clips so I can clamp it all together because I haven't got any. <laughs> got one that'll go around there. But yeah. It's all going well, actually. Eventually, all of this will be remade in stainless steel, including the plant, but maybe. Kind of like matte black, matte black look. So, yeah. Haven't checked if I clear the bonnet, should do. So, <laughs> yeah. It's all going rather well, except for the Jubilee Clip issue. And then I've got to try try and make a bracket to hold it there go off the wing I think just to give it a little bit of extra rigidity although those brackets will hold it when it's fully tightened down yeah quite pleased with that looks kind of cool actually hey got a little bit manic there because I'm on a time scale with something else that will appear in another video keep an eye out for that but all together. Got you bolt come in. There is a length of pipe inside there to keep that to clamp that onto that one, which then clamps onto the pipe. Cack handed, but this is only the first initiation. That that can sit there. It's not ideal, but it will be neatened up to that. That's a bit crude, but I can loosen that off and try and persuade that a bit higher in a minute. There we go. Snorkel kit. Done. Oh, I know what I can do. Grab that sharpie. Walk round to wherever the list has gone. There it is. Done. Still got bits to do, but most of them will be later this week. Awesome. <laughs> on to the next thing. More on this video will be popping up. So that's this done for today. So this is a little unexpected extra bit of building prep. Drum to work the past couple of days. Ariette's been get getting progressively flatter and flatter, like less power. First guess, fuel lift pump. But I'm gonna do the lift pump. I'm going to replace the fuel filter because it's been on about three, four, five thousand miles, I think. So, could do with being replaced. So, yay! All fun. Hmm, slightly different, but that's what I sold at the local spare space. So, My Brothers Deacon, for those in Leicestershire, know it. Trust them, see what happens. So, <laughs> change the lift pump. That's an old one I had lurking around, I was using for something. Change the fuel filter, still completely flat. Change the air filter, however, goes like a train again. Reason being, this air filter, aside from being mounted the wrong way round, apparently, so everyone told me, is clogged. So, well that work wasn't really needed, but, oh well. <laughs> oh man, I was getting nervous, I was thinking, oh, dead gaskets and the turbo, all kinds of things, worst case scenarioing as you do, when, you're, when your car is broken. <laughs> oh dear, it's all good fun. Right, uh, I've got CB to do. I might do that tomorrow night when I get home from work because apparently it's not going to be raining then and it's raining now so yeah <laughs> shiny new carbon fibre already dirty because 
me. me. Oh, I'll put my monster energy thingy back on. One second. There you go. Monster energy thingy's back on. The reason it's on there is as a joke, because... Either. That's why. And box said 10 horsepower. That's now the right way round. You can't see because the pipes are blocking it off, but it is genuinely fit the right way round. A few people told me that, that one, having that one that way round, was the wrong way round. It should be that way. Which, yeah, looking at it, it does make sense. So, it's all done. <sighs> and relax ish. <laughs> Every breakdown's a paragraph. <laughs> yep. So, finally got the CB radio fitted, wired in and working. There was just mag mounted in the back at the moment on the jerry cam because I haven't got my clamp air reel. It's currently on that one. As you can see, wheels and tyres are ready to go off tomorrow to be sorted. I've um, borrowed the set that's the I'm looking after for Steve, so yeah, mad, mad dash tonight because I got home from, later from work than I hoped to, so as such did not get a chance to do the wheels as I wanted to, so oh well, it's just one of the things. Right, another thing off the list, oh, where is the list actually? Uh, right, that'll do for tonight. Right, so, the list. CB radio, done. There you go show, there you go logo, not happening. Electric fan swap, that didn't happen either. Swap rate tyres is tomorrow, go programs. Bugger, I've got them. Um, Hmm. <coughs> I'll look at them now. Okay, so rear wheels are now swapped. Rosie's here. And Steve, who's currently making tea. Which is the best thing anyone can ever do. And rear wheels are swapped. Uh, got the GoPro mounts to make, but we'll make them when we get there, won't we? Not an agree. Tea. Tea. Uh, I've got a GoPro mount to make for the back, but that's not difficult to do. Just move along to the bar. Tea. <laughs> Tea. That's the last bit. Oh, and the uh, light bar wiring. So I might drill a hole in my dashboard before we go. Because then I can put the switch in and we can wire it up when we get there. Okay. Or I can ask you, why is there three wires when I understand two? Electronics are not my strong point. Oh, sticker. Close enough. Stick it in the tub of that. Or on the wing of this one. No, not on the wing of this one, because it's going to move in a second. Like a lot of tip. You'd still drink it, wouldn't you? Hell yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, that's it for this video. I'll do, actually, no, I'll do a little clip with the GoPro mount when we make it, because that's the last bit. Why are you ooing? It's a photo frame. I know, they block polycarbonate, using something. Cooking on in this weather. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, do a little clip with the um, GoPro mount when I make that. That's all that's going to be as long as the bar bent around the front bumper. <laughs> I still can't believe how much milk you have in it. Strange, strange but Yes. Colin Furs. You see his tea making machine. I'll tell you about this in a moment. Check out Colin Furs on YouTube. But yeah. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Pretty much the last thing off the list. We're actually at Billing Show in the Marshalls enclosure because press sneak in there. GoPro mount. Currently holding the Note Pro because I'm holding the GoPro. I think the other GoPro will go in Steve's truck. Also, door tops off because it's lovely weather. Absolutely awesome. So, light bar wiring. We should probably do that later. Mm. 
go for him out and cross stuff. And there is just a light bar wiring because it I just missed the lid of the sharpie and stabbed my hand twice. <coughs> but yeah, all good to go. So, check out the channel. By the time you see this, the videos will be up from the weekend. Keep an eye out for us. Okay. Thanks, folks. Hope you enjoyed this, uh, the construction video, the building prep show video. Like I say, building show videos should be up by the time this is released. Bye!